Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 333 Tarot and we're just going to jump right in and see what's going on with you today here Aquarius. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node so it's not going to resonate with all of you. Uh, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same-day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. All right, so it looks like here, Aquarius, I do see here that one, you start a new chapter with someone new and close the door out with someone else that fast and you're happy about it and it's a celebratory time. Maybe you won custody or got something of kids or with two kids or with a person or you know what I mean? There's something of happiness and fun and good news or spending time with others for some of you here. Um, either or it's like something feels really emotionally loving and happy and exciting and or dealing with a person or you know a child or kids for some of you and that fast something just gets closed out but it's good news for you on your end and you're happy and excited no matter what this is about or you could be talking to someone and that's why you're celebrating and having a good time or there's something about people third party maybe I don't know having a good time drinking whatever it is just like you know social media stuff possibly for some of you and that's where there's um you kind of just, I think you go cold, but also you kind of become aware of the situation of what happens here. And so I think it's like whatever's going on there, you're aware of it. You're really happy and excited. I think, I feel like for some of you to end something and make your choice on it. Others of you, it's like, it's great. You're happy. You know, you're, you know, for some of you, you just want to stay cold and very like reserved, but makes you happy that way to do this or be this way with others around you. Whatever it is, it's like just as exciting as something is or what you're working towards, there's something painful and, and done here. So you know this or you're aware of this. And that's where there's a lot that you are having to kind of face and realize about some sort of a situation here. Yeah, I get the sense for some of you, it's kind of like you're um, you're almost excited and planning and waiting on when you are going to end something with someone and others of you are planning and waiting how or when you're going to pursue someone. So either or. Uh, but I do see here that like once you, a choice has been made here, you do work with it. You feel a little stuck, but you work with it and reflect on the situation. Things remain kind of hidden and mysterious. So you keep kind of quiet and kept to yourself. Um, you try to figure out different things of, you know, um, and what's unknown of what to do in the situation. And you do feel in your strength though about it. You feel really good. And I think that, you know, you end up getting something here that you want or someone here that you want, um, which is, it looks like here it's something in regards to maybe a person, a situation, information. Um, you end up committing more to your marriage and or relationship or your spiritual religious path or going to guidance, getting information, figuring out what to do about all this. You deep down knowing intuitively what to do and what's happening in all of this. And then because you know or you get this information, like that's when you become extremely guarded and put your walls up in the situation. And then you have to kind of invest and figure out what to do next for yourself, your life, your career path, money, business, maybe a person. And that's where you feel, you know, motivated and confident to kind of get up and do something about it. And so for a lot of you, it's about your position, you know, money, job, business, wealth, career path, status, whatever it is. Others of you, it's about a person and or marriage or relationship that you are in, but it's while you're at home. It's like you taking leadership and accountability and having to get up and do some things and take care of things while you're at home here or about a home setting or stability. Um, whether you live with someone or not, that's where you're really guarded. 
um, and defensive, something's going on there, but, and that's what makes you want to have to plan and figure out what it is you need to do to move on your own path and journey and kind of let go of things either about this marriage, about this commitment, about this relationship, about this contract, about some, your own spiritual religious path and what you want to do. It's like, you know, you want to get out of something and move out or move away from something or someone, but that's once again, where you feel trapped, stuck, scared, restricted. Like you can't break out of this. You can't get out of the situation or from someone or something here. Now, for some of you, it could be because of a relationship or marriage outside of you, you know, or either or. But it's like, you know, some of you try to move forward in a different way or go to guidance or stay in this commitment or contract or marriage to either try. And some of you are trying to figure out how you can find your next um, person that you want to collaborate with and work with. Some of you are scared to approach someone to offer that to them. Others of you, it's like who you already do work with and collaborate with. It's like we're trying to figure things out, but feeling stuck and trapped and scared or stuck with them. Or even just with your own career path, like I said, either or. But it looks like here that you are willing to make things very equal in the situation, whether it's with yourself or others around you. And you've made, it's kind of confusing, but you also have made your choice about what to do about a person or a situation in your life of, you know, reflecting and guidance and information and wisdom that you've been gaining about the situation. For some of you, you've made your choice on that you want to offer someone that is successful. So I feel like you are very successful, whether it's public eye or not, online, offline. And so is maybe for some of you, another person here that you're dealing with or wanting to talk to. And some of you want to offer something to someone. Others of you already have an opportunity here with someone or you are creating this for yourself, either or. But you're willing to make things equal and make a, you know, it looks like here, it's been confusing and you feel blocked off of what you want to do and or who you want to approach. But it looks like here that um, either because of this person and or just you kind of seeking guidance and figuring out what to do, there is a level of success and recognition within this. And it's because of your emotional choice or because you choose to be connected to this or that or a person or what you even do for work and for success that give that you want to give an opportunity or it gives you an opportunity and you have one. But it looks like for some of you, it's like you're trying to figure out how to offer something to someone. Okay, hold on. Got a card that flipped out. And that's what confuses you is not maybe maybe not knowing how to offer it to someone. And so it looks like here that that does actually irritate you and annoy you and cause a lot of frustration. I don't know if it, you end up going attacking and being aggressive to someone or you're just annoyed and confused. But either or there's something pretty negative or, you know, something irritating, annoying going on in, re that, in regards to that. And that fast, you do feel happy or excited or passionate or to be that way or you're just having to move really fast. It looks like it gives you a sense of new love. Um, you know, to kind of be aggressive and attack someone or people and or to be a flirt. But the thing is, like, it goes from like straight aggression to then like flirting and happiness and passion and new love. Um, maybe you want to message someone or talk to someone uh, or, you know what I mean? So like some of you, it's like, you know, you want to be single. Or you're going to be a player. You're going to cheat or you want to be with someone. Um, you have new love for someone or it's like however way you're operating towards a completely different person makes you feel like you have new love so either or here i don't know but you could be dealing with a pisces cancer scorpio aries leo sagittarius gemini libra aquarius and virgo taurus capricorn thank you bye